So guys, today is a big reveal for my living room makeover. Um, so if you want to see everything that I've done um, in my living room, then stay tuned. <laughs> it's Becky and welcome to my channel hello if you're new there um, I'm Becky and I do loads of plus size fashion content beauty and home interior decor videos every Tuesday and Thursday so if you haven't yet I would love it if you would subscribe hello to all my lovely regulars thank you so much for joining me today I know so many of you have been super super excited for this video um, so if you didn't know I did buy uh, my first house um, in February this year and um, I have been doing it up um, luckily there wasn't like a load of structural work that needed doing however um, there was a lot of um, like decorating and stuff and it was pretty much a blank canvas so I could kind of do whatever I liked um, so without further ado <laughs> Let's check out my living room. Let me work out <laughs> which side the handle's on. So guys, here is the main seating area. And I just want to let you know that this video is in collaboration with Dazino. And as I have worked with them before in the past, if you saw my bedroom reveal, and they have kindly gifted me this lovely gallery wall, plus another little piece I'll show you in a bit. Um, but I absolutely love Dazino. I've got quite a specific colour scheme that you'll see throughout my living room and they um, have this kind of gallery wall tool which lets you uh, put all the pieces together on your computer uh, to make sure it's the right vibe and colour scheme and you can like play around with all the different images and they have got so many images, so many colour schemes for you to pick from. Um, so in my living room, I've gone for a very kind of like rosy, blushy pink, as well as kind of an aqua blue. Um, so it is, I'm very, very specific with colours. I can get very, very um, like pinpointed on things. And that's what I absolutely love about uh, Dezino is the fact they have so many choices and you can use their gallery tool um, on their website. So not only can you get prints on Dezino, but you can also get the matching frames. I did go for the white frames, but they do gold, black, and this really lovely wood colour as well. So um, yeah, loads and loads to pick from. It's so like customizable to your room. And they have left me a discount code, which gets you 45% off prints. And that lasts until the end of the day um, for the 26th of June. So I'll pop that discount code on the screen for you now. It's a fantastic offer to take advantage of. Um, and you can really perk up your room and get those exact color combinations that you're looking for. So, <laughs> everything else in the room. So, this is my gorgeous made.com sofa. I can't remember the exact name of it, but I will link it down below. I wanted a pink sofa. There was like no doubt about it. Um, obviously, this house is all my own. I don't have um, someone else to kind of argue with about what to put in the living room or anywhere. Um, so I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna get a pink sofa, that is what I want. Obviously I didn't want like a hot pink. Um, so this is, I think it's called Antique Rose. Um, it is a three person sofa, um, but I will say like, it's a little squeeze for three people to be on there, but it's super, super comfy and a really great price. I think the RRP of the sofa is 995. It might've gone up though since I bought it. Um, we'll just say though with made.com, the delivery, it kept getting delayed and delayed and delayed. That's been an issue with made.com for a while now. So just bear that in mind if you are planning on buying um, with them, it might take longer than you expect to get your sofa. So just bear that in mind. Um, but I'll show you the cushions I got. I got two of these ones from Made in the Sale. It's kind of like a rough boule. Is that how you say it? They're really fab. I got them in the sale. I think they were like 20 pounds for the both. 
and then these ones I actually got from Shein um so these are so soft so comfy but the cases were from Shein um and then the insert I think I got from John Lewis as well as <laughs> the other pillow this is also from Shein it is the perfect color um, it is this beautiful like tealy blue that just kind of goes with the other pops of blue in the room. Um, then we have all of my wood. Um, it's all from Ikea. Um, one, because of the cost. It was so much more cost effective. Very, very easy to put together. I love the cool tone wood. Um, but yeah, so I can't remember the name of that either, so I'll pop that on the screen. But I have the side table, the square coffee table, the <laughs> dining table and matching chairs in all the same range. I know people would say don't get too much matchy matchy stuff, but I feel like I have a lot of other unique pieces in the living room that doesn't make it look too much like a massive set and then i have this lovely little mini palm tree from my friend lizzie um, i just got this little um lamp here with the glass pink base and the white lampshade that's from the range then this is so cute it's gonna be quite hard to show you guys oh this i think is such a cute um gift you get someone as like a housewarming present it's a tissue box cover um so it you put a square tissue box underneath and it makes it look like smoke coming out of the chimney i did buy this myself it wasn't a, a housewarming gift from anyone but i think it would be such a cute one i just got this off amazon and i just think it would fit so many people's interiors and and people always go oh that's so cute when they see it and i always keep tissues in the living room because someone always needs one, mainly my dad. Um, so I've just got a couple of other little trinkets and bits and bobs on there. Then I have my little blanket basket down here. Um, haven't actually needed it yet so far because it has been so, so hot. And um, then, I'm hoping you can see it. It is my lovely little shell, bool, I don't know if I'm saying the right word. Um, accent chair this was the first thing i bought for the house and i hadn't even bought this house <laughs> um, i saw this in home sense and absolutely fell in love with it i think it was 120 pounds which i thought was incredibly incredibly reasonable at first i think i thought i was gonna put this in my bedroom um but it's actually worked out really nicely down here it's super super comfy um, quite trendy I absolutely love it and then this little cushion is from Asda <laughs> um, and I just think that looks really nice and kind of brings the two together um, then we have <laughs> this is so fun showing you guys everything uh, the Pouffet this is from Made. I love the texture I think it's 100% wool um, I love having all these different textures and um styles i yeah i really love that then on my coffee table i'm probably going to grab some separate footage of things to show you up close um i've tried to keep this as minimal as possible uh because i do if i'm honest i do eat my dinner here at night because i'm by myself guys um so i um yeah i don't put too much on here so i just have like a little tray um with my candle currently some chocolates that hang got me as a home warming gift um a little fake plant this little book that opens as a light and some coasters and of course the tv remote um so that's everything oh and this fabulous fabulous rug i love this rug i think this was the second item i bought for the house this was what started the pink and blue theme at first i just had the pink going um but then i saw this rug with these little hints of pink and i just instantly knew that's where i was going um this again was from home sense fun fact i saw this in store and didn't pick it up because i was buying the accent chair so i'd already spent enough money considering i didn't even have a house yet and um, I took a picture of the label because I knew next time I went to HomeSense to buy it, it wasn't going to be there. And it, yeah, it wasn't there. But a couple of months went by, me and mum are in HomeSense and out the corner of my eye, I see this rug 
with a red sticker on it so it was reduced um i think i only had got like a tenner off it but or oh, i didn't care i just was so happy that i actually got the rug it is a smaller rug um but i think it um fits with the sofa really really nice and maybe in the future i might get this rug in a bigger size um, i'm not sure yet but for now i think it works out really nice so this is the other side of um where my sofa is so obviously this is where my tv is i will say i don't like tvs on walls um i think they're great in some settings i just think um when it's on like a tv unit it just looks a lot more homey um that, but that's that's just my own design preference um so this is an lg oled uh it's 55 inches i think um i think it's only like the second biggest and this i think it looks big because of the size of my living room um but it's not too too big it's actually the perfect size for the distance to the sofa um this is a fab tv i got this in black friday um it was a little bit more than my my budget was going to be but then when speaking to the um sales assistant like the way he explained it and about the quality and all the little things that this thing can do i'm so glad i put the little bit of extra money in to buy this um it's absolutely fab highly highly recommend the lg oled range it's so thin my parents actually bought uh, the same one when I bought <laughs> this TV they literally bought it at the same time because they were so impressed with it and it was a really really great price so I definitely recommend waiting for Black Friday because I do feel like you do get um, some prices that just aren't available to us throughout the year and um, so absolutely love that TV so so much uh, this is my bar cart <laughs> um, this is from Home Bargains I think it was £25 um, I think it looks so much more expensive. I've always loved the Oliver Bonus bar carts, but they're like 200, 250 pounds. I just think that's just so much money for something that, you know, do we really need it? No, but it's really, really cute. Um, so I have tried to put bottles on here that do match the living room. Um, so I did actually buy this Melfi gin, literally because it's pink and blue. Um, We've got the Grey Goose Vodka, which is my favourite vodka. Um, this was actually a present my friend Reggie got me literally like years ago. And I've managed to keep it safe. It just says booze. I love how this like old fashioned decanter has booze in gold writing on the front. I think that's so fab. Um, then we've got this gorgeous pineapple shaker. I got this from Anthropology in the Christmas sale. So, so God, I need to take my labels off. Originally 46, but I think I paid like 20 pounds for it. And I think I have got this kind of like tropical Mediterranean. I wanted it to feel almost like a hotel in, a, in, in like a nice way, like it's a retreat. And it just gives me those kind of like tropical vibes. Um, next we have a little body that was from primark it was a couple of quid uh, along with this little pink twisty candle and then i have these gorgeous lsa uh like opalescent champagne flutes they were a gift from my mum when i moved to london uh, i lived in a shared flat so i never ever took them out um of the boxes they were literally in the box the whole time because you know what it's like living in a shared house and then i have this absolutely another really fab um housewarming gift this is from anthropology it was eight pound anthropology eight pound that's a bargain and it's a, a bottle opener in the shape of a lemon wedge it's really weighty as well and i think you know if you are on a budget but you want to get something someone something really really nice i think that's such a unique fab present um so again another housewarming gift i bought for myself <laughs> um but i did get lots of lovely housewarming gifts from my friends so this is from em and live and it is a butterfly palm um i need to remember to water it the leaves have got a bit curled because i've just been traveling a lot recently um so i need to get on watering especially because it's been so hot but she's doing good she's doing good um but it's absolutely beautiful and i think behind um the cocktail trolley it looks fab 
onto one of the best buys um, in the living room is this TV unit. So I was gonna get a TV unit from Ikea, um, because my TV, the one thing to bear in mind with this TV, the legs are at the ends rather than in the middle. Um, so that meant that I did have to have a bigger TV unit. Um, and then when I was looking at Ikea, we were talking 250, 300 pounds for the one where you can kind of choose what shelves and covers and stuff you have. And, Whew, once you've once you've bought all this already, you're like, oh, that's that's a lot of money. Surely, I can find something cheaper. This was fifty five pounds on eBay. This was such such a bargain, and I love um, the two covers that are full, chopped full of all my candles. <laughs> so that's great. I love having someone put my candles. But that could be great if you um, have like a games console, you put all your games in there, or board games, um, or books, magazines, stuff like that. Um, and then you've got these really nice kind of like decorative shelves. Um, so these little fashion designer books are for JP for Christmas. Um, then I also have some um, kind of like magazines that Chanel sent me. <laughs> so you've got to have them on display. Um, a little watering can for mum and dad Christmas and a little radio but I'm going to swap that out for my Google Home um, because I use my Google Homes way more than I use that so it's a fab, it's a Roberts my parents gave it me um, but yeah I'm definitely going to change that out for Google because I just prefer that. So the last part of the tour is the dining room area so um, the thing I love about the shape of this living room is it definitely does give you defined living room and dining room areas because of um, where the stairs and under the cupboard storage is. Um, I really like having my parents and my friends over uh, for dinner here. It's really perfect. It's actually quite um, a big space. And I think if I wanted to have six people over, um, I could definitely add a couple of like fold away chairs for when I have more people over. Um, here is the other um, Dazino print. I think it looks so fab here at the end of the dining table. Originally it was actually gonna go on the gallery wall. Um, when they all came, and that's the great thing about having a gallery wall is you can play about with it even when it's arrived. So you can do your design and stuff um, on the website. But obviously you're not stuck to that. So you can actually change your mind and put stuff where you fancy it. So you still know it's all gonna match and look great together, but you can just put them in different parts of your room. Um, so I think this looks so fabulous. The size and the quality, the quality of this print is incredible. Um, it is, I think this is a one meter by 70, so it's a huge image. Uh, there's no pixelization or anything. The quality of the print um, and the image is fabulous. It's And it just looks so serene and calm. And you always feel like you're there. I absolutely love this print. And again, we've got the pink and the blue. Um, this dining table is super, super comfortable. Um, the chairs as well, we do have some little cushions on because my mum was like, we need some cushions. Um, I got this gorgeous jug from Primark. I think it was like eight pounds um i do have some lemons if any of you know where to get ceramic lemons from because i really want just to have lemons in here all year round but not to use them um but this bowl was from um home sense tp max um and then this lovely candle and um candle holder was a gift from han um as my little home warming gift and then this tray was from made.com um i just really liked the pink and that was express delivery because they had it in stock um and then we have this gorgeous mirror from ikea i think this is like 40 50 pounds which is such a great price for this mirror in most of the ikeas i've seen they actually do have this um long ways portrait would that be the, the right word to use um, but i actually spinned it around to have it horizontal across with the radiator and I think it looks so good so chic it brings in the gold elements I've got with the bar cart over there and brings over here um, I think around Christmas time I will be putting some like fairy lights and <laughs> stuff up there um, but I also really like to work here as well because I can see straight out into the garden I love watching the birds 
and also my office does get really hot in the afternoon so I'll come down here um, and it's really really cool in this living room and um, then I do have just this little kind of de decorative floor situation um, I've got this little vase from the range with this gorgeous um, what do they call it it's like fake <laughs> But it's not it's well it's fake pampas grass i can't remember the nice word to describe it uh this gorgeous hurricane um tortoiseshell candle thing from primark home and then this bargain here this is a um i don't know if it's raffia it's like a string lantern with this gorgeous kind of um cream and tan stripe um, that was six quid in B&M from £20, recent as well, so if you fancy, go and have a look for it. But this is where my Christmas tree is going to go, so um, that will all, I'll pop that in storage, pop that in the cupboard, and that's where my Christmas tree will be in December, because uh, I, I love Christmas, so I had to kind of think where I was going to put that, but I also love how the tan matches my curtains. Um, oh, let me show you my curtains! <laughs> So I've just taken the tripod, um, but I'm actually using the Ikea rails. I have these in all of my um, rooms. I love these um, curtains. These are all, all my curtains are from B&Q, um, but I love these really airy, light, striped um, curtains. And then I liked going for a tan um, curtain rather than cream, just because it adds a little bit of depth um so we're not too too cream everywhere um and then my lampshades i've just kept them super super simple they have got like a bit of shimmer can you see the shimmer <laughs> no uh they were just from b and m um as well so guys that is the end of the living room tour i hope you enjoyed it big thank you to dezino for hooking me up with these gorgeous prints i will leave the discount code on the screen for you now if you fancy getting that discount off prints uh, the link is down below um they have put a little web page together of all the prints that i have chosen so if you fancied any of them for yourself they are available for you there definitely do that gallery wall thing it's so so fun um, and such a useful tool um, but yeah i really hope you enjoyed this i absolutely love my living room i spend every evening in here and it's just such a calm relaxing environment and i just love the color palette it's ended up being um so yeah i hope you like it um if you haven't yet don't forget to subscribe i've still got a couple more room tours to do um give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you in the next one guys bye